Hi, my dear Pisces. So nice to be in your energy. I hope that you all are taking care. Um, so if you've seen the other videos, um, I've noted a couple things. Um, this reading is, of course, uh, a little different than the one that I put out um, as far as like the Star of Venus reading uh, in true Aquarius fashion. Um, and uh, also, they're not being incredibly particular as far as sun, moon, and rising, just kind of Piscean energy. Um, those. I believe with the, um, in, you know, rising sun and moon might feel it a little bit strongly or might find more messages. Um, but, uh, at any rate, it's, uh, kind of for everybody with that Piscean energy. Um, as uh, usual, I would like to also say that this is a group, uh, kind of consciousness reading, so it may or may not resonate some of it, all of it, uh, uh, with you, but again, your spirit team and your spirit guides know, um, the messages that they need to get across for you. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. So here in the first position, this is about what you experienced in the past with love. So we have two cards that show up. Uh, the first card is the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is um, about confusion. You have many options and which to choose. Um, and you're just not sure which uh, option to go with. And then, of course, there is one option that you cannot see that may or may not be the best option for you. So um, the push for this card is just you're going to have to make a choice. Um, and then you know, begin working with whatever choice you make. Um, and, you know, you are a Pisces. So um, the easiest way for you to properly make that choice is through your intuition. Um, and then you'll feel the, you, you know, in the past would have felt the confusion hopefully lift. Um, okay. But you do have two cards here. So the other card here uh, is three of pinnacles. So this comes up for a couple of different uh, reasons. Uh, for me, it speaks to me different ways. So uh, pinnacles for me is usually about what happens in the 3D. So in the 3D, we're all about building uh, here and creating a stable structure. Um, so I, I like that it kind of goes here <laughs> with this seven of cups in that once you decided to make a choice, um, then you can start to, to uh, build stability within that structure. Three usually is when the divine comes in uh, to kind of help, uh, especially here with that monk showing up, to kind of help you to create the, um, the stability that you need um, within the, the 3D uh and what could also come up with this card is that sometimes you may have met somebody from work and maybe you were a little confused uh, about getting involved with them or you got involved with them and it just kind of left you um, in confusion and not sure of, you know, the many choices. You're just kind of unclear about what you wanted uh, when it came to relationships um, so again, this was a, this was a past and past is like yesterday or up until about two years ago. That's the kind of time period that they're giving me for the past. So let's see what you're, what's going on in the present possibly. Um, so in the present you have death. Uh, not surprising. A lot of people are going through this energy, the letting go, um, the coming, uh, up of new stuff. Uh, you know, letting go of things that no longer serve you um, in order to get ready for that sunrise. Um, so death generally happens uh, to you uh, in a very swift kind of fast motion. Um, you know, life just kind of uh, wraps around you in order for you to be able to let go of things that no longer serve you. Um, and so this is getting you ready for the new relationship that you wanted or 
um, over here, like I said, in the past, the past could have been, you know, just yesterday, <laughs> just yesterday, and you feeling maybe some of this energy or possibly, um, you know, going through it for maybe the last two years. Um, and so here, you're now with the fact where they're helping you to, to kind of get rid of the confusion um, and move off into a space uh, so that you have a clear uh, idea of what it is that you want. Because again, remember you were building over here with the three of pentacles, trying to build stability. And the best way to build stability, of course, is to get rid of stuff that just have no use because, you know, they're taking up space. Um, and so they say, you know, as you're going through this, you, you'll come out the better for it. It is a difficult card, yes. Um, but uh, again, sometimes, you know, need it. So we're talking uh, about transformation for the best. Um, and if you are currently single, it could mean that you are going to be in a relationship soon. Now, how soon that depends upon your resistance to letting go um, and letting in the new stuff uh, come in. Okay. So this is what you want in love. <laughs> um, oh, I lay this card out, of course, a little giggle. Um, because it makes sense. After the death, you would want that star card, which is all about healing and knowing that you're being guided toward, um, you know, your dream, your wish. Um, because it, then I guess it would make the death card a little bit easier, of course, to bear. Um, and the star card, um, as I said before, is about healing. We have the Aquarius. She has a lot of water energy here. You're able to be vulnerable and to be seen um, by the other person who you get to have, you know, a good time with. They make you laugh. They really kind of see you and know you. And so the darkness is over. I really love how you want to move there. You want the dark night of the soul to be done um, and to know um, that the divine is guiding you to um, the best possible person and, and, and your wish um, and that you get to connect in a very loving way um, to this other person because, again, that's what you want. You want to be seen. You want to be noticed. You want to be able to really be your true self and to be vulnerable um, with this other person. Um, so what do you need to do? Um, this is Five of Cups. I know it could look like a difficult card and they're sad, but this is just about, again, that change of perspective. So you could be looking back here in the past um, and just really kind of focused in on what didn't work out, what was really difficult. Again, a little bit of that death. So that's why death came in to kind of help you sweep through and get past the past um, to clean it up and realize you don't need that to grow anymore. Um because you want to heal, you want to move past it. Um, and so here, this is just a matter of changing your perspective emotionally so that you can come into the present, you can change into the present, that's what that five is, and really see what's going on, understand the past, respect the past, and, um, and then feel um, and be in a good place. Because that's how you'll be able to experience that star. And then once you go to the, the, the present, it's easier to see what's in your future, which is that two of cups energy. That's somebody that's uh, having a relationship that is healing, having a relationship where you're understood, having a, a very deep um, uh, relationship with, with another person where... Um, you know, there's strength, there's integrity, but you've got to be able to change your perspective to get there. Because again, you brought in the star card. That's what you want. You know, when somebody really gets you, you're able to be that vulnerable person. But um, they're telling you this is what you need to do um, in order to get past it. And you're going through it anyway with that death card. Okay. Um, so here you have the fool. This is what you have to offer your beloved. Um, this is the full energy. Um, the full is, you know, once you get past and you change that perspective, 
you're carefree. It's like, ah, I went through the death. I got rid of the stuff that's no longer there. And now I can move on into my future, understanding the past, respecting the past, and knowing that things will be much better than what they were um, previously. Um, Because the fool, you know, he just moves forward, knowing that um, what is needed for him to go on his journey will be provided. Uh, You know, things just kind of feel the best. He's willing to go ahead and make that leap of faith um, into the unknown. Uh, And I think that as you went through that death transformation, it it is going to make that full um, energy easier for you to be able to give to your beloved to say, look, I go ahead. I don't know what this is going to be, but I'm open to it because I've had a difficult past and I know what it is that I want because you were confused over here and you went through the transformation and got rid of the stuff, got rid of the confusion and you wanted the healing. You wanted to be vulnerable. So you went through there and said, okay, I know what I want and I'm willing to go ahead and and move forward because I've gotten rid of the past. So I'm going to love like I've never been hurt before. And I'm going to be, you know, here for you and take that leap with you. Okay. Um, So what is it that your beloved has to offer you? Um, And this is the magician uh, that your beloved has. They... First, it's the one card. So it's a new beginning. Uh, so they have a new beginning. They have the infinity symbol. So there will be giving and receiving in this relationship. Um, and I love that it's underneath that star card. Because you wanted somebody who was going to see you. Who you could be vulnerable with. Um, and you will be able to be vulnerable with the magician. Um, just because they will be meeting each and every one of your needs, as you can see, they have all the aces up here. So all the potential lies there for your needs to be met mentally, spiritually, emotionally, um, uh, and, uh, and in a very, uh, physically, uh, because we see that the, the Ace of Pentacles there, but it'll, it'll be met uh, as long as you have a strong sense of self, uh, which again, you have over here. So you're remembering what you, you let go of in the past. Okay. And remember that they are not the ones who are giving it to you. They're reflecting it back to you. Um, and this is your most compatible person. And so it's going to feel really, really good. Um, So don't allow the fear of the fact that this person is just, they're just right for me. Again, that's what you wanted. Um, That there must be something else going on here. Um, And I love that that there's that yellow behind it because it almost gives off that sun energy where you could say, You know, their intentions are pure. There may be at times, again, that you get hurt, but that's only if you, you, you don't, you forget, I'm sorry, you forget about having those strong boundaries because it can be somewhat of a very demanding relationship. I mean, they are the magician. They, they know how to manifest. They know how to bring in all this, um, uh, energy. So Again, this is what your beloved is offering to you, okay? Oof. Um, so they're, they're offering to you, you know, a very compatible and romantic um, relationship, okay? And it's full of fun. It's full of adventures. There's give and take. Uh, within this relationship as well. So very, very nice, Pisces. I know um, I'm looking at the cards that that would be nice to, of course, experience, okay? Um, 
Now, here we have some advice from the Romance Angels and uh, Outcam Finances and Career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So, um, this is applying twofold to me. Um, so, it could be the fact that you are focusing too much on that right now. Um, because maybe you don't have the finances that you want. And so, you're uh, focusing on getting that and feeling like, if I don't have that, then the other person is not going to love me. Not going to care about me. Um, or... Um, you are in turn are just too focused in on your career, your job. And so you can't feel all that love. You can't really enjoy that love that's, that's coming, you know, toward you because here in the past, again, it's almost, they're telling like in the past, kind of where you had the, uh, you know, the identity you've, in a way, identified yourself with the finances. Now, this is, again, for some of you, not for all of you, um, in that that's where your stability lied. Um, and so you were focused in on moving your career up, um, you know, making sure your finances were in order, which might make it difficult um, uh, you know, to really give and receive, um, the love you, that you want. Um, uh, so, and then of course, on, I, on the other hand, it's about the fact that, you know, the finances might be low or might be difficult because, so there's still that concentration on them. So you feel as though the other person, you can't be, um, can't be a possibility for you because they, um, because your finances are in order. <laughs> um, and so you are maybe not, you know, worthy of having their affections, having, um, their love or having this love that you want. Um, in your life, but either way, there's a very strong focus in on finances. Okay. So your final card comes from the universe has got your back. Um, and it is, I honor how I want to feel. Um, I kind of like that card. You guys know, sometimes with that card, I let you pull in your interpretations. Sometimes I, I, feel other interpretations from the cards within the deck. Um, because you're in the present right here, going through this transformation, going through this death, possibly, um, there are a lot of feelings associated. You are Pisces. You know, you have a lot of feelings and a very rich, you know, internal life. And so it's difficult to, to, to lose some things and have that unstable ground but it's okay to feel that way it's okay to, to honor that feeling and, and that's how you're gonna let go and it's also okay to to say I want to be vulnerable with somebody I want to laugh with somebody I want to enjoy somebody else's company because again that's what you want so you honor that feeling and you can move toward it um This five of cups, like I said before, is wrapped up here in this death card. So you understand that. And I never like, I mean, they're mistakes, but they're really lessons that you needed to go through in order to get to this point in time where you could see how you got to your present in order to be able to change your future um, and get to that loving relationship that you want. And that feeling of carefree because the fool, I, I feel, is he's honoring his feelings. He's honored them. And so that gives him that level of freedom to be able to move forward and to go into the unknown. Um, right? Because that's what you have to offer your beloved. And so you pull in this person who is a manifester and you get to have this new beginning. Um and you get to know your boundaries um, and, and keep them. 
um, and this kind of somewhat demanding relationship, but that feels really perfect for you as well. Okay. Um, so I hope that that gave you some clarity, maybe some validation. If not, that's okay. Check out the other videos. Again, I appreciate and thank you so much for um, liking, subscribing, and um, commenting on the channel. So please take care and I'll see you guys next time. Okay.